Hello, Chris Richter back again. We are continuing our Did You Know series. And what we're going to look at and see if you did you know that you can restrict access to content based on the completion of other activities. What does this actually mean for you? Well, it means you can set up a course where a student has to complete a certain collection of activities. When they complete these activities or a specific activity, you then make content available. You can also then make it that the content, once completed or once they've viewed that content, after that, that the assignments have become available. After the assignments have been completed and passed, then we can go to a completion where it shows that they have completed the course all visually on the one screen, rather than just have a course completion happen in the background where they don't see it. Let's have a look at how we do this. So first of all, I've set up a course and it has in it some announcements at quiz one, a page which could be multiple pages, an assignment that they complete, and then a page or display area that just shows completion using a label. So the idea is that we hide everything else that's in the content based on the previous information or the previous activities being completed. So let's work our way through this one at a time. We have our quiz and that quiz will be available for them to do straight away. We don't want to show them the content in this area here until that quiz is completed. So if we turn edit mode on, we go into, in this case, let's say we have multiple pages. So I'm just going to duplicate that page. So we have pages one, page two, just so you can see the context of how this works. I want to hide all of this, but I could go in one at a time and edit settings and do the restrictions on each page, but it's easier to use it as a topic. So what I can do is I can restrict access to all of the uh, content here based on the topic restriction. They have to complete the quiz first, then they will see everything inside this topic. So I can go to the topic and edit topic, go into restrict access, and then add a restriction. And the restriction is an activity completion, and the completion is that they complete quiz number one, and it must be marked as complete. So if I choose save now, you can see here it has not available unless the activity quiz one is marked complete. Now what do they have to do to complete quiz one? We can go in and check. If we go edit settings in the quiz, scroll down, we can go to our activity completion, and the completion criteria for this quiz is they must receive a grade and it must be a passing grade. And our pass grade is a grade of one, is our pass grade. And if we go into our quiz questions, we'll just change this to a maximum grade of one. We have one question in there worth one. And if they get that correct, the answer is true. So they've got to mark it as true, they'll pass. So that way we're right to go. So that's our first thing. Now, what we can also do is have it that if they haven't viewed all of the pages, the assignment doesn't appear. So we'd like them to view each page and then all of the assignments appear. So let's go and do that. So to do that, we need to go into each of the pages. We go edit settings and we go down here to activity completion and we choose show activities complete when conditions are met. And the condition is the student must view this to complete it. So they've got to view that page. So we save that one. We go back and do the same with our second page. So the conditions are must view to complete. Save and display. I didn't need to display, did I? There we go. So, <laughs> and I already viewed it because I clicked on it. So I viewed the page. That's sort of helpful. Now we go to our assignments, and if we had multiple assignments in here rather than just the one assignment, uh, we would use the activity completion, or we could use, uh, sorry, the topic completion by editing the topic, which is what I'll do this time. But you can also do the just the assignment itself completion. But what we want to do is go into edit our topic for assessments or assignments, restrict access, and the conditions are activity complete. And we need to have page one is marked as complete and also page two is marked as complete. So save changes. So there we go. So now we've got this won't appear until page one and page two have been marked as complete, meaning they've viewed them. So at the moment, one isn't complete, number two is complete. 
jump down further now to our completion page and that will be based on the completing the assignment when it's graded then we show the completion we go to edit and edit topic set our restrict access and completion based on activity completion and the completion is our assignment must be complete must be marked as complete and that's it we can save changes let's have a look at what this looks like for a student so now I have logged in as a student into the same course you can see the student can see the announcements they can see quiz one but the restricted access says you can't see any of this content until quiz one has been marked as complete and obviously nothing else is visible as well so let's go to complete the quiz so the student attempts their quiz the correct answer is true thank you very much finish submit all submit all and finish done got it correct we can finish our review and that's it perfect go back to our course you can now see that the quiz is complete we received a grade and it is a pass grade so now the student can see the content still can't see the assignments or the completion but if the student goes into page one it now says it's done and they viewed the content there if they go back see page two isn't complete yet so let's complete page two that's done go back again you can now see the assignment is ready so now the student is to complete the assignment so they go into the assignment they add a submission my submission so they've submitted it for grading the teacher now needs to grade that I'll just go and do that give me a moment refresh the page and our student is now graded so they've completed that congratulations well done they got 100 out of 100 perfect example of course we get back to it again and now at the very bottom we have the message come up you have completed all the requirements for this course so that's a way of using the activity completion to restrict access depending on different conditions restricting based on topics restricting based on the results from an activity and all the way along the student is explained as to what they've got to complete and when they complete it it then shows that it's done and that's a really cool feature of Moodle 4.0 it works in earlier versions of Moodle 2 uh, they don't all have this display part showing you what's required and what you need to do but it just depends on which version you have but this is version 4.0 Hope that's been useful to you. Check out the courses below in the comments. Otherwise, I'll talk to you very, very soon.